time. Charlie. Yeah. What's up guys, I'm Charlie, that's Pat, Kirby's behind the camera, and today we're in Giant Sequoia National Park to check out the largest single tree specimens in the entire world. Giant sequoias. What's up, guys? I'm Charlie Patrick's getting attacked by mosquitoes, and Kirby's on camera. And today, we're in Humboldt Redwood State Park checking out the largest single tree specimens in the entire world coastal redwoods. Wait, what the heck are you talking about? Giant sequoias are the biggest. Uh huh, no way. Redwoods are the largest. Uh, sequoias are. Uh, coastal redwoods are. Sequoias are. Redwoods are. Aren't they the same thing? Guys, relax. You're both right. Because they're the same thing. Pat, they're not the same thing. Uh, but. Patrick. Uh, Pat. Uh, Pat, they're not. I mean, it's easy to confuse the two since they're both giant trees living in California, but they're entirely different species with entirely different scientific names. So they're not the same thing. Correct, Patrick. Coastal redwoods and giant sequoias are different in a whole bunch of ways. I mean, for one thing, they don't even grow in the same place. These coastal redwoods are growing in Northern California along the coast near the Pacific Ocean. Here, the fog makes things nice and wet, creating the perfect environment for these guys to grow. We're checking out these giant sequoias on a western slope of the Sierra Nevada mountain range in California, where it's nice and mild and dry, which are exactly the conditions that these sequoias need for their seed cones to release their seeds. Yep, entirely different locations. You will never find a coastal redwood growing in the same place as a giant sequoia. They reproduce differently too. Giant sequoias reproduce using seeds. So do coastal redwoods. Well, our seed cones are three times larger. Fine, well, sometimes coastal redwoods don't even need to use seeds. They can reproduce vegetatively, which means entire new trees can grow from pieces of other trees. So if you cut down a redwood, a new baby redwood can grow from its trunk or roots or branches that fell off. Ooh, fancy, vegetative reproduction. And uh, how long does a coastal redwood live? Around 2,000 years. Oh, that's cute. Giant sequoias live for about 3,200 years, so. Well, the bark of a coastal redwood is a deep chocolatey brown like a warm Warm, nutty brownie that your grandmother made just for you. Well, the bark of a giant sequoia is a bright reddish brown, like a slightly discolored brownie your grandmother just made for you. Cool, they're different, we get it, but which one's the largest? It's kind of a harder question to answer than you might think. So when you're standing at the base of either tree, giant sequoias definitely look bigger because their trunks are massive. And giant sequoias are the most massive trees in the entire world because they have the most volume. But coastal redwoods are the tallest trees in the entire world. They have the greatest height and they kind of kick giant sequoias butt in this category. This is possible because each tree species grows differently. Giant sequoias are super wide, thick trees that are pretty tall but coastal redwoods are skinnier trees that are crazy tall. Think of them like this. If a giant sequoia were an athlete, it would be a six foot five, 300 pound NFL lineman. If a coastal redwood were an athlete, it would be a six foot 10 inch, 250 pound NBA center. One's bulkier and heavier and one's thinner and taller. It's as simple as that. As an example of this idea, let's choose an all-star from each tree species. The giant sequoia all-star would be by unanimous decision coming out of Sequoia National Park, our man, the big boy, General Sherman. He is a behemoth. With a base diameter of 36.5 feet, this monster is 52,500 cubic feet and weighs in at 4 million pounds. He is the most massive single living tree in the entire world. The most massive one, period. He also hits the height chart at 275 feet. So, I mean, he's pretty tall too. Up against this heavy weight is our coastal redwood all-star coming to you from a hidden location in Northern California. Big stretch, the tall boy, Hyperion. Hyperion's exact location has been a closely guarded secret since it was discovered in 2006. Only like six people know and they're not telling anybody, so we have no idea where it is. But we do know that this guy is super tall. Saying Hyperion is a tall tree is an enormous understatement because he is the tallest tree in the entire world. No tree is taller. He's just under 380 feet, about 105 feet taller than General Sherman. Still though, this guy is pretty skinny. With a base diameter of only about 16 feet, its volume isn't even half of General Sherman's at 18,600 cubic feet. So in a head-to-head -head battle for tallest tree in the world, Hyperion wins. For most volume, General Sherman wins. So which is the largest tree in the world? I guess that kind of depends what you're talking about. You can see how incredibly different these two types of trees are, but at the same time though, you can consider both of these giants to be record breakers in different categories in the natural world. Coastal redwoods are the largest trees in the world in terms of height, but giant sequoias are the largest trees in the world in terms of volume. So I guess it's perfect, you know, everybody wins. Yeah, I guess that works. Yeah? Yeah, I guess that works. All right. It's a cool name. Nice. Cool. Cool, cool. Awesome. All right. So they're not the same thing. Patrick. 